All right, here's something I haven't said in quite a while. I am here in the Mayweather Boxing Club with Jesse Vargas. Jesse, a little. I'm on the Mayweather Boxing Channel. What are you talking about? Oh, I saw you, but I haven't seen you here in this gym. That's what I'm curious about, Jesse. What brings you here to the Mayweather Boxing Club? Well, uh, you know, I'm not in training camp at the moment, and I've been training private since 2012. You know, and I just figured that it was nice just to change it up for a day or every now and then and come in uh, to a gym where it's more relaxing and I get to hang out with a few friends while I'm working out. You know, I mean, it's always nice to hang out with old friends in the middle of a workout when you're not in training camp. You know what I mean? So it was just a nice change of atmosphere for a day. Good to see these friends, but then you get stuck seeing people like Ashley Theophane too. Does that bother you? You know what? Not only did I see Ashley Theophane, I saw him sparring. Uh, a few minutes ago, he did a great job. So, you know what I mean? Those are the things that I normally don't get to see when you train private. You know, uh, other fighters sparring, other fighters staying focused and uh, giving, the, giving, giving the, the people here in the, in the boxing gym a show, which is entertaining. I was literally hitting the bag and had to turn for a round or two to check out Ashley uh, sparring. You know what I mean? He's a, one of the top fighters in this gym and he was doing a great job. So, those are the type of things that I just was missing. You know what I mean? I enjoy doing. Not only that, but you know, it's also a competitive instinct coming in here and um, got to stay sharp in front of your people, in front of your friends, because everyone's doing a good job and you want to be uh, make sure to stay up to par. Any aw awkwardness at all coming in here after so long? Dog, you know what? It feels like I, uh, like I was here yesterday. I mean, all these people I know very well, you know, from Nate Jones to, uh, man, to everybody, you know what I mean? Um, the only guy that I don't see here is Saeed Wally, you know what I mean? Because when I was here, he wasn't here. So was Savage. Uh, Dion Savage, and um, that's the only thing that I didn't see here. But besides that, man, it's the uh, same atmosphere that it was before. Everybody been real welcoming to you? Yeah, man, I mean, we're all friends. You know what I mean? Uh, I left a lot of friends here, and I maintained that relationship with uh, all, the, all the, the boxers here, all the fighters. Actually, Ash, actually, Ashley, Theo Payne is uh, one of the new guys. One of the new guys in the gym. You know what I mean? Now coming back, he's one of the new guys, one of the newbies. And uh, who else? Let me see. You know, you got a couple new guys in here, but um, I'm the. Uh, it's, it's nice to come back though and just say what's up to my people. The only guy I'm missing is Boza Edwards. He's a good friend of mine. Yeah, he should be here soon. He used to work with you. You used to work with Boza, right? Yeah, he's my. Uh, he was in my uh, corner. He was one of my corner mates and coaches. And uh, when I signed with Top Rank, then um, you know he knew, he understood that I had to uh, I had to do things uh, in a different way. You touched on it a little bit. What's the difference? You know, top rank, which is a private gym, so it's usually empty, you know, very few people in there to a full gym like this. What's the difference as far as, uh, you know, your training goes? Well, you have to understand that not only the top rank gym, but I also trained at City Boxing Gym. It was always private. What was the difference that my main focus was just me, you know what I mean? And just how I was uh, perfecting my skill, how I was doing, and it was all work, you know what I mean? Strictly business, you know? But it was all because I was in training camp and perfecting something new, but now it's been um, almost a year since my last fight and uh, I'm just training, and you start getting bored training private, you know what I mean? You prefer to come into an atmosphere where there's more action, more people that you can uh, relate with, uh, communicate with. You know, it just changes the atmosphere, and it makes your day go by faster, and it's comfortable, you know what I mean? So I don't see why uh, there's a problem. It's actually a quite, quite a relief for me to come in and see people and hang out, basically. This, to me, is, is not only working, but basically hanging out with my peeps. We interviewed you a couple of days ago, but for those that didn't see it, uh, you're still you're a free agent technically at this point. You renegotiate with top rank, trying to get a deal done. What's it like as far as training goes when you're in maintain mode, as far or compared to you know preparing for a specific fight? Well, you know, first of all, when it comes to training, I've been off for several months now. You know what I mean? So that's the reason that I'm here once again, just to uh, switch it up because you can't do the same routine. You know what I mean? It starts getting boring after a while. But I'm staying in shape no matter what and uh, just doing different things, trying different gyms, trying different things. And um, when it comes to the business aspect, well, I am negotiating with top rank. Unfortunately, um, it's taking longer than I expected. I hope that this gets resolved very soon. Um, I'm looking forward to coming back as soon as possible. My fans want to see me, and uh, I can't wait to come back, you know what I mean? Does there come a point when, you know, you said you're giving top rank the first opportunity, you, you want to get back with them, but is there come a point where you start fielding offers from other organizations? I could see it leading in that direction. You know what I mean? If, if, if it takes that long of a process, you know, to finalize a deal with top rank, then, then of course, you know what I mean? I'm in my own right to start looking elsewhere and start negotiating elsewhere, but, I mean, in elsewhere, but uh, first of all, I'm trying to finalize uh, something with top rank if nothing happens. 
then um, you know I am completely in my right to uh, negotiate elsewhere. So that is that is uh, the plan for now. We're trying to see what this leads to with top rank. All right, and wrapping up. Obviously, you got to take care of yourself. You know, getting a deal that's fair to you is your top priority. But you're a fighter. How frustrating is that for a fighter to not be able to fight and have to worry about you know the contracts instead? I think that this is the most frustrating moment in my career, just because I'm at the peak of my excuse me, peak of my career. I'm doing great. I'm 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 giving the fans excitement. You know what I mean? And even though excuse me excuse me uh, even though I didn't come out victorious in my last fight, I gave the fans a great. Uh, entertainment, you know what I mean? That's what they want, that's what they want to see. And I'm looking back, I'm looking to get into the ring and give them more entertainment, you know what I mean? Come back and give them more action. But um, unfortunately, this process is, is uh, making it longer, it's being longer than it should be, you know what I mean? But f hopefully we get something signed as soon as possible. I think that uh, my fans want to see me back in the ring. I hope the top break doesn't uh, delay this process any longer. I wouldn't see it fair, you know what I mean? And um, you know, let's just, let's just do things with, just do things with how it's right to, do, to be done. And, you know, uh, I'm sure things, certain things are convenient to them, certain things are convenient to us, but let's just see what's on the contract. You know what I mean? Whatever's on the contract, that's what should be done and said. You know what I mean? And if any mistake is done by them, well, then it's not my fault. And if any mistake is done by me, well, then it is my fault and I must uh, abide by it. You know what I mean? I got to live with it. So I hope that they have the same output on things and we could just uh, get things rolling, you know what I mean? Uh, I understand that it's a business. Everybody wants more, uh, wants the bigger pot, but uh, we'll see. You know, it's just a lot to say, but I'm um, trying to finalize this with Top Rank and afterwards we'll be open with the fans and let them know what exactly went on. But uh, for now, we'll just uh, take on this process and hopefully uh, fight soon. But like I said, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not a one trick, uh, one, my career is, is going well for me, you know what I mean? And no matter what, how I see it, if this if it takes a longer process than it should, then I'll just focus on other things. I'm perfecting my skill as always, but also uh, doing other things uh, in other careers as well. I mean, I, I'm very uh, versatile in everything, you know what I mean? I like to be a man that, that could do a bunch Work of Work at McDonald's, uh, so I, Give back to the fans, give back to the, to the people in our community, of course. You know what I mean? That's what I was doing. Uh, when you talked about McDonald's, what I was doing recently is uh, giving um, giving back, you know what I mean? And uh, giving back to a charity that McDonald's was involved with. And of course, if that opportunity comes up again and we're giving back to the community, I would do that for a day, of course. You know what I mean? Free of charge, just to uh, give back to the community. That's what it's about. But that's that's uh, how I give back to the community as well. We all got to give back. We're all blessed with certain things, so we got to give back to the people. But like I said, you know what I mean? If this delays the process and it's longer than I expected, I mean, I'll just uh, have to find a way to stay busy, you know, while I'm still training, being a, being a full-time father, while uh, looking for other uh, opportunities as well. No matter what, you won't stop me. No matter what, I won't be stopped. You know what I mean? Whatever I do, I'll keep going at it and I'll be successful at it because I just have that push, that drive, you know? So as soon as this gets resolved, I will uh, give the fans excitement and you're gonna see a new and improved Jesse Vargas. And uh, you know, I live and I learn. Very last question, is this a one-time deal here in the gym or are we going to see you here for a while? I don't know, you know, it depends, it depends how, uh, um, what type of mood I'm in tomorrow. All right, Jesse, thanks a lot and uh, best luck to you in your negotiations. Thank you.